Hi, this is Dr. A.K. Srivastava. In this video lecture, I am going to dry Ohm's law using free electron theory. What is Ohm's law? First, let me define what is Ohm's law. I is equal to V upon R. That is, let's suppose there is a conductor and it is connected through a battery and current I is flowing in this conductor. Let's suppose conductor is AB. Potential difference is between A and B is V. What is current? Current is related with potential difference. I is equal to V upon R. This R is known as resistance of the conductor. It depends upon the uh, its dimension, its composition and temperature. Okay. Now, it will not depend upon this, uh, it is independent from this potential difference. Let me drive this equation I is equal to V upon R. According to free electron theory, there are large number of free electrons in this metal and these are collide, colliding, these are colliding with each other frequently. Right now, I am not applying any potential difference across this conductor. they are moving with some velocity that is known as electron velocity. The velocity in absence of electric field, the, this velocity is corresponding to energy EF that is Fermi energy. The distance covered between two successive collision is let us suppose lambda that is known as mean free path. And the time taken to cover this distance is tau. This is known as relaxation time. Okay. So, what is this tau? Tau is given by tau is equal to time is equal to distance upon velocity, distance upon velocity. This Vf is what? Electron velocity. Let us suppose this is equation number 1, electron velocity. corresponding to energy epsilon f. Epsilon f is what? Fermi energy. Now, now suppose that we are, we are, we have applied some potential difference across this conductor. what will happen? Because of this potential difference, okay, el electric field will be established in this direction. And because of this electric field, elect there will be force on these free electrons. And they start moving with some average velocity in this direction. In towards A direction. So, there will be current in this direction. Okay. So, what is the force acting on these, let us suppose drift velocity of these electron is Vd. What is this Vd? Drift velocity. The velocity of the electron in presence of this electric field. Drift velocity of the electron. Okay. Because of this presence of electric field, the, there will be force acting on these electrons and because of that force, there will be acceleration on these electrons. What is the acceleration of the electron? The acceleration of the electron is given by according to Newton's second law. 
a is equal to f upon m. What is the force acting on these uh, charged particle or electron? F is equal to Q into E divided by m. This is m is what? Mass of the electron. Let us suppose this is equation number 2. Now, what is the drift velocity of these electron? Drift velocity of the electron. Vd is equal to a tau. Question number 3. Now, how we can get this Vd is equal to a tau? Let me explain this point. Since these electrons are moving uh, in a particular direction and uh, they are colliding with each other also. After each collision, they will come at rest. Again, they will be accelerated uh, because of the presence of that uh, force. So, I am just going to use this equation of motion that is V is equal to u plus a t. Okay. This is the final velocity. What I told you? Electrons basically colliding with each other and after each collision they come to at rest. So, let us suppose this is the electron and this is colliding with other electron. This is colliding with other electron. This will come at rest. Again, start moving. They start colliding with other electrons. Again, they are colliding with other electron. They are, they are moving like this. Okay. And let's suppose they are taking here. They are taking time t1. Here they are taking time t2. Here they are time taking t3, and so on. They are okay. Now, what is the initial velocity? The initial velocity of the electron is zero. And what is the acceleration? I assume here acceleration as a, and this t is the time, average time. This is time t1, t2, t3. What is the average time? That is t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on divided by, let us suppose, n number times. And this velocity each time will be different, final velocity. Means this is the average velocity v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus and so on divided by n. Okay. This is the average velocity. What is the average velocity in presence of electric field? That is known as, this is the definition of drift velocity. And what is this A? A is this. And this is the relaxation time, average time taken between two successive equations, T by N, T2 by N, T3 by N. This is the average time uh, taken by uh, between two successive collisions, that is A tau. In this way, you can get this relation. Okay. So, V d is equal to A tau. Now, I am going to substitute the value of A and tau in this equation. Substitute, substitute A and tau in equation number 3 what we will get? V d is equal to A tau. V d is equal to A is small e capital E this is equation number 2 divided by m. Tau already we calculated tau is equal to what? Tau is equal to what? This is equation number 1. Just check equation number 1. Uh, this is lambda upon V f substitute this value here lambda over Vf. Okay. Let us suppose this is equation number 4. Now, current in this conductor. What is the current in this conductor? What is the current relation for this conductor? Current in the conductor is given by this is the relation already you know maybe i is equal to n e a v d this is equation number 5 what is this n n is the number of electron in unit volume 
number of electrons in a unit volume. V d is the drift velocity, A is the area of cross section that is this, this one area of cross section. You can consider the support length of the conductor is L. Okay. Now, how can we get this relation? Let me drive that this relation also. How can we get this relation? I is equal to N E A V D. So, there is a conductor. Okay. Let us suppose cross section area of this conductor is A and length of the conductor is L and electron they are they have they are having drift velocity V D. Okay. So, here I have applied a potential difference also V electric field will be in this direction and current will flow in, in this direction. Now, what is the and I have assumed that N is the number of electron in unit volume. Okay. So, what is the volume of this conductor? Volume of the conductor is A into L. Okay. A into L. Now, so how many electrons are there in, in this volume? The total number of electron in this conductor. Total number of electrons in conductor or you can say in this volume total volume. So, you already know in unit volume we have an electron so in this volume this will be an Al. Okay. Now, what is the total charge? Do so, you know the charge of one electron total charge of the on this conductor total charge on this conductor. you know the total number of electron, you know the charge of one electron also. What you have to do just multiply this uh, charge of one electron here N A L E. Okay. Now, what is the current? The current is defined as charge divided by time. So, what is total charge? N A L E divided by time and this L upon time, distance upon time is velocity. The N N A E V D. L upon time I am writing I am writing here as V D drift velocity. This relation I used I have used here I is equal to N E V D. Now substitute this value of V D in equation number 5. Substitute V D in equation 5. We, we get what we get I is equal to N E A I is equal to N E A and V D is this. What is V D? Small e capital E lambda small e capital E lambda divided by m v f right m v f ok. Now, this relation you can write like this there is a relation between C what is electric field electric field is here is E and uh, potential difference is V. So, what is the relation between electric field and uh, potential difference there is a relation E is equal to V upon L. I am going to use this relation here also. This will become N E square L, okay. N E square N E square A lambda, okay, and uh, this V divided by M V F and this L, okay. N, E and E will be E square, then A, then lambda and I have substituted the value of E, E is equal to V by L and then M, V, F, L. Okay. So, this relation you can write like this also, I is equal to V upon 
r where 1 by r is equal to this what this n e square a lambda n e square a lambda divided by m v f okay m v f l okay so what is r from this relation r is equal to m v f divided by n e square lambda and this uh, l upon l upon what is this okay l upon a n e square lambda n e okay what is this r r is known as resistance of the conductor resistance of the conductor why there is a resistance i will discuss after driving this uh, mv mvf divided by n e square lambda l upon a now this relation you can also write like this r is equal to rho l upon a what is this rho where rho is equal to mvf divided by n e square lambda this relation is important and can be asked directly in your examination and this uh, rho is known as a resistivity of the material material okay this is the derivation of ohm's law 